Good morning, Bobcats. It's great to see you here. Welcome to another episode of Bobcats in Bushes. Today's episode comes uh, to you as a response from one of our longtime viewers, Robinson, uh, who has come up with a way to help a local hero uh, defend his home and uh, his uh, spirit and neighborhood standing without harming any animals. So let's get to it. All right, Bobcats, we're back here with step one of Robinson's plan. Uh, well, actually, we have to adjust him a little bit. Um, the first thing we need to do is get a worm, though. So that's our first step. So uh, we have tracked down a worm in its natural habitat. This is my junior ranger, ranger Mar Marvin. Marvin, this is junior ranger Marvin. Say hi, Marvin. Hi. All right, so we're gonna find this worm here. First thing we're gonna do is dig around. It's natural. Oh, we got one here. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. First pull, amazing. All right, so the next step that we have to do is we have to get a rope around this worm. And that's what we're gonna go ahead and do right here. We're gonna set him in the grass so we don't harm him. And then we're gonna tie a little line around him just like, hold still, so, ah! Okay, thought it was gonna bite me, I'm back. Here we go. We're gonna tie a little war, war, little loop, a little loop. Yeah, so gross. Ah! <laughs> okay, new plan, new plan, new plan. Uh, we need to pause to thank uh, one of our amazing sponsors for Bobcats and Bushes. And uh, this today's uh, sponsorship comes from Rocky Road Cereal, which is made with 100% uh, rocks. So good when you eat them, you'll say, ow. Uh, it's, it's delicious. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's... That's rocks. All right, Bobcats. After a grueling uh, five-hour battle, I finally was able to tame the worm uh, and uh, attach this uh, indestructible string to it. Now, you'll notice that the worm is completely incapacitated. Uh, it is still alive, okay, because robins, they want uh, uh, a live prey, um, but uh, it is so worn out from its encounter with the superior being that it now is resting. So uh, as per Robinson's steps, I dug a hole, I placed inside a brown bag uh, for camouflage. I am laying the still alive worm in. I'm going to take my string to this side on the other side of our bush here, because this is bobcats and bushes. My junior ranger Marvin here, Melvin or Marvin? I forgot what you said. Marvin. Marvin is going to hide behind this butterfly bush, which is an excellent uh, uh, bush for pollinators. And then I am going to go hide. So Marvin, you go hide. I will hide. And now we wait. All right, Bobcats. It's been 17 hours. Uh, that we've staked out this uh, amazing bird trap, but we have not yet received even a nibble. I'm not sure why. I feel like our camouflage is pretty on point. Uh, so because we still have to make a complete episode, we're just going to go ahead and reenact uh, what would actually happen. So uh, this is what would have happened had uh, the birds enough guts to come and enter this trap. All right, Bobcats. So this is what would actually have happened. Kaka, kaka. Now, Marvin. I got it. I got it. Quick, bring him over here. Okay. The next step is to get this bag into the truck, which is just happens to be pink and amazing. So let's go. Let's go. All right. So we now have our bird in custody and our driver Melvin is taking us to our 
uh, the robin's natural habitat, aka nature. Hey, Marv, look out! <laughs> Come on, we're driving here. Nature emergency. We'll be there soon. Hi. Okay, little bobcats in bushes. Uh, we are now ready to release our captured uh, domicile predator. Uh, and this is, this is quite honestly, Marv, this is our favorite part, isn't it? Yeah. To see nature return to nature. So here we go. On the count of three. One, two, two three. three. Be free, majestic bird. Um, a lot of you guys might not know this, but the, uh, the robin is actually a ground nesting bird. It's it's digging it's digging a hole right it's making its nest right now. Hey there you good good job and hey we did it right yeah good job Bobcats and Bushes Alright so Bobcats you know that it's May the 4th so it's uh, the official Star Wars day so for today's physical activity uh, we're gonna do a Star Wars themed physical activity. So here we go. I am going to use the force to pull uh, a lightsaber to me. So here we go. Ready, set. So close, come on, just a little bit more. Ah. So that's your physical activity for today. Pull, pull the lightsaber to you. And that concludes our uh, Bobcats and Bushes theme song, which was an amazing three minutes and 27 seconds of uh, incredible acapella music. Uh, so now that uh, we are done, we're going to do the, the final part to our Bobcats and Bushes uh, show, which is uh, something we've done from the get-go, uh, which is in absolutely no way related to any of the morning meeting sessions that third grade has put out uh, so far, and that's called the joke of the day. It's totally original. It's never happened before. Um, since today is May the 4th, we are going to do a Star Wars joke, so here you go. Uh, why did episodes 4, 5, and 6 come out before episodes 1, 2, and 3? Nothing is extinct. Uh, and that's because Yoda was directing, so there you go. He thinks it's, it's hilarious. Um, just a uh, couple of things uh, to remember that uh, next Sunday is Mother's Day. So if you're going to make something or uh, prepare something or do something, you might want to start uh, planning that out now or making it. Um, and uh, this week is also Teacher Appreciation Week. So uh, I know that it's been different for your uh, instruction uh, for the last couple of weeks. So when you're thinking about uh, teachers, make sure that you think about those adults, um, family members, parents, uh, or even brothers and sisters that are, um, which are family members, um, <laughs> that have been helping you out the last couple of weeks, and make sure you give them a big thanks too. And like we always say here on Bobcats and Bushes, um, no, uh, no, no problem can't be solved uh without a there's no problem that can't be solved with a hug i think i don't know um or maybe it's just um be cool that's it be cool all right bye